five words that are sabotaging your authority in the workplace and five fixes. In other words, five scripts to make you better. I don't even think you realize, I don't even realize when I'm saying words that are undermining my authority. However, once I've actually put some awareness around it, I'm so much more careful in an email or so much more careful when I'm in a meeting to make sure these words actually don't slip out of my mouth. So here are the five. Number one is maybe. Here's a perfect example of the word maybe and how it finds its way into a sentence. You know, maybe we should consider extending the, here's the fix. Let's extend the deadline to make sure that we deliver our best work. So much more descriptive, so much more deliberate, so much more confident and decisive in its tone. The second word, and this is one of my biggest bugbears, is try. How many times have you heard someone say, I'll try and make it. Okay, first of all, that's just telling me that you're definitely not gonna make it, right? But here's a context in which you typically hear the word try. I'll try and have the report ready by tomorrow. A better way to say this, which shows your commitment and your ability to follow through is, I will have the report ready by tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully the weather's gonna hold up. Well, you can't control the weather, neither can I, but there are things that are in your control. So how can you circumvent that uncertainty without the word hopefully in your sentence? So here's how we typically say hopefully show up. Hopefully, the new strategy will work. I'm confident that the new strategy is gonna yield the results that we want. So much more decisive. Just, this is another offensive word. I'm guilty of this one showing up in my lexicon all the time, but now that I see it in emails, I very quickly remove it. Why? Well, it minimizes your actions. I realized it was just making me small, like I was gonna be taking up less space as a result. So here's a typical example of where just shows up. I just wanted to check in on the status of the project. Take out the just. I wanted to check in on the status of the project. Possibly, that's another word that finds its way into our lexicon. Possibly means that there's another alternative. This is not, plan A is not gonna work, plan B is the only way. Well, we could possibly launch that product next quarter. Hmm. You could be more decisive and say, we plan to launch that product next quarter. Hey, every week I am providing scripts because I'm a recovering TV anchor. I say recovering because I used to have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. And at that point, it's not a job, it's a whole lifestyle. So I'm still recovering from all that sleep deprivation. But scripts were a big part of my life. And so today, as I'm now moved into a leadership role and a coaching role, I'm providing these scripts to really help you to be a better advocate for yourself. So it's a whole series. Hit the bell notification if you would like to get more scripts like this or make me your favorites on Instagram. And I'm gonna hit you with these every single week.